Meeting Mozart. Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Bertke. Nadine was learning to play the piano. He enjoyed his lessons and now he could play with both hands. In fact, he was quite good, so his dad got him a keyboard. Nadim took the keyboard to show Biff and Chip. It plays different sounds, like an organ or guitar, he said. It can play a drum beat, and you can record what you are playing. Nadim had learned to play Walking in the Air. He played that and then a minuet by Bach. I like this one the best, he said. A minuet is a sort of grand dance. Mom came into the kitchen to listen. You play really well, Nadine, she said. Just then, her phone rang. It's an important call, she said. Why don't you take the keyboard up to Biff's bedroom? Play something else, Nadine, said Chip. Try it with the drum beat on. Then the key began to glow. Nadine was still holding the keyboard when they were whisked into a new adventure. The key took them back in time. They were in a beautiful room with lots of mirrors. What an enormous room, said Biff. We must be in some sort of palace. Through a doorway, they could see a boy sitting at an instrument that looked like a small piano. I think that's a harpsichord, said Nadine. Then a man strode in. Why have you stopped? Playing Wolfgang, he demanded. I'm tired, father, the boy said. I don't want to play this evening. You must. The man sighed and held up his hands. The Archduke expects you to play. We cannot afford to upset him. He pays us to hear you play. You must practice for the concert tonight, the man went on. No more nonsense. Now play. The boy began to cry. I won't, he sobbed. I can't. He jumped up and ran out of the room. The man saw the children. We've been spotted, too, said Biff. We'd better run. Come on. Follow the boy. Thieves. I'll have you locked up, shouted the man. Guards. Come quickly. The boy ran up steps, round corners, through doors, and along corridors. The children ran after him, trying to keep up. This is an enormous place, panted Chip.